We have this lunar New Year's week, and every step toward your、uh, hometowns and houses, they will receive the blessings of the king-like、uh, evangelist. Happy New Year! Yesterday, with all these church、uh, staff and elders, and this department of evangelists went to Seoul. Approximately ninety people there. But all day, we just had a training there. I have a kind of worries in my heart that it might be very delayed. We might be stopped in the traffic jam because of this New Year stay, but we had a safe journey. Because thanks blessings that we also have very specific plans and also some elders went there in advance. And. Some people who didn't going there with us, they just they、um, went up on their own. And we, they,、um, the church in the Ewer Church prepared a lot for us in a specific way. And we can see this center of this world evangelism. Especially, the pastor gave us this message. All the people in charge of the department they received a lot of.、Um, uh, very well fit consultants. And I realized to myself that、uh, each one of us, one of them,、uh, they are de dedicated to this work. Are showing their minds into this. Work of this evangelism. They divided into different parts, and they gave us this a lot of tips in according to the department. And I thought to myself that this is really working well, and it has no choice but to be working well with this system. And we also learned about the process and the origin of this church. This pastor、uh, started doing this mission work in his late age. He used to do the be a businessman, but he started with his mission, and he started. He just、uh, bought this land. After he started his mission, three years after he started his mission, that is unfortunate that God really blessed him a lot. When he was about to buy this land, about less than one hundred acres, all the church members tried to help this church constructions. This this this. 
sold their houses, and they also take, uh, took a loan from the banks. And he just paid off. Uh, 200 million, more than 200 million won, and one elder was in the guidance of the Lord, and this one person paid the last one more than one billion won and he used to be in a uh, big company and he just sold his big houses and apartments and his pensions so he paid all and he said to the pastor it's time for me to leave this church. If I stay here, then I might be the blocking stone for your missions. So he just saw his center and he went to. Uh, he didn't want to try to be a master in this church, but he wanted to leave. He just paid up for all the rest of the deaths of the church. And he left. One female church member, she went to uh, the clinic, the hospital, to sell her one of her eyes to pay off the church death and her husband heard this story and and he heard that plan of her and he was a non-believer and he got shocked uh, by her hearing that this story that she was about to sell his sell her eye one of her eyes and uh, she, her husband couldn't understand what's going on and she he just gave her the 20 million won to her to pay off, pay off the debts of the church. I'm not talking about how much money you need to pay for these offerings. I'm just telling you about the, all these centers that how uh, the church and you have to do. They just start with a small amount of land, but they just spread, expanded the church. So they just um, occupied all the square of the land. They just built up the 20 story buildings uh, with the money of the elders and the church members but still they are in their under depths but still they have 25 billion won and they just paid off uh, including the additional extra uh, debts of the church and they will give the grace for this and they just paid off the all then I heard this all the story and all the process of this construction then I realized that we need just only one evangelist who had the center in this church. People might think that we need many, but we just only need one true evangelist. Can you imagine that you just sell your one of your eye to pay off the death of the church?
it's the same as her selling her uh, eye with, with the thing that she just um, received from her husband. We are just praying about this slogan like 10,000 saints. You must remember that you're where your heart, center of your heart is. You must remember the center in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today's title is a king like evangelist who will save this world. You must use your throne, the blessing of the throne, in your field. We are about to have this French dance election. All these candidates are uh, saying that they might must be a president. I will make this nation a better place. If I become a president, I will solve the problems of these people living in this nation. It's very important to have a leader, what kind of leaders we will have. So having a kind of leader is very important. It depends on the destiny of nation. And it also affects the spiritual status of the nation. You must pray for the politicians. And the Bible also specifically proclaims that we must pray for the politicians. In each era, no matter how well they are doing, the, the leaders are doing, because of the leaders, there are so many destructions and all the problems arising. So many disappointing leaders. We can see this fact that they disappoint people. But the sure thing is that we have the answer. Each era, each region, the, all the solution for these problems is not the mind, the leader, all heroes, all throughout the world. But the heroes are not solving the problems for this age, for each age. Only Jesus Christ can solve these problems for each age. And the evangelist from, from God will solve these problems. Uh, I think that the heroes are doing very good things, but later on you can find this all the world's world to nations. The time they achieved a lot of uh, these and good things, but they just uh, put donations into the world. Each era, each problem um, show that the only answer is uh, Jesus Christ. That all people who accept the Jesus Christ as their Savior will give the answer to them. And the main message today, God said to Israel people in advance, when you go to get into the land of Kenya, you might have, you will have more problems than in Egypt. As a slave, so there are many problems in Egypt as well. But if you are getting to the land of Kenya, there might be a lot of problems more than that in Egypt. To solve those problems, you must build up this altar. Build up, must set up the king. And he's not just talking about what kind of kings you must set up. And so, was appointed as a king and next to David. And Israel, for Israel people, uh, the king was God. 
and uh, God said that all problems arising, He prophesied all the problems in front of the people, and you must set the king like this kind of person. And this passage is talking about these conditions. So first, you must set the king that God chose. Because the true king is God. To set a king over you whom the Lord your God will choose. The king of a king is only God. And other, not, not foreigners, but among your brothers. That means the brothers who know the God, the Lord. They must be a king and do not, you must do not acquire many horses. In other words, you must rely on God. Do not rely on the horses or as weapons. You must rely on only God. And David knew this fact really well, and Solomon, in fact, um, relied on all the positions, silver and gold. But David, think about the life of David before Goliath, he wasn't threatened. David said, you come with me with a sword or the spear, the javelin, but I come. To you in the name of the Lord of the host. I'm relying on God. I'm truly relying on God. He's showing the great attitude toward the people. And do not have many wives and do not possess a lot of excessive silver and gold. That means you must rely only on God. Do not acquire for himself excessive silver and gold. It has physical positions. It's not working well. It's not the true blessings, but the true blessing is that you are with God. So that everything will be working well. Do not accumulate the silver and gold for himself. But Solomon. Uh, Accumulate the silver and gold for himself, but it was different, totally different from David. David always set up this heart for his nations and for God. And how could he do to um, praise the Lord? And Solomon uh, finished accomplishing the temple, but David did everything. Uh, for this temple construction. Uh, David just confessed his face that uh, I'm a uh, watchman of this temple rather than being a king. That was the center of David before the construction of the temple. The real answer is not coming from the silver or gold. It's from only God. God is only our satisfaction. So the last part of the passage is that you must keep this in mind. That is verse chapter 18 and 19. That is conclusion part. Let's read this together. When he sits on the throne of the kingdom, he shall write for himself in a book of a copy of this law, approved by the Levitical priests, and they shall be with him, and he shall be this all the days of his life, and he may learn to fear the Lord of his God by keeping all these words and laws of his statutes and doing them. They are just meditating on God. They are always with the words and they will also follow his commitments. That is the way how we can in, that is the way we can enjoy God's uh, authority. First of all, we need a true king for human beings. It's not like the Israel people need a king. We all need a king, so they prophesy about the king. At this very moment, we need a true king.
We need to, I need to trick you. My family and also my family and I, mine needs tricking. And my business field needs tricking as well. So every part of our life needs tricking. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, we need to wind up the first six of Genesis. Adam and Eve were separated from God because of these original sins. The all this Eve spirit tried to spread his, his authority over the human beings. It's a sure thing for us to listen to his voice, but not listening to his voice, they instead listen to the Satan's voice. So they were seized by the Satan's authority. They, Isaiah. That is the, uh, it's the Satan with the, the evil spirits of this world. Uh, they are the authority of the air, but no one can beat over the Satan without the power of the Lord. And we are the slaves of Satan. We need a king to save ourselves, to save us out of the hands of the Satan. And the book. The Bible is talking about the sacrifice offerings. The worldly people might say that I am free, but they are not actually free at all. They are always tied up to everything, every matter in their lives. They are slaves of this world. They are slaves of money. If they earn money, they make a lot of money, then they can step on another people, another person. And even sometimes, and all the, the relationship with others are depending on, depend on the, the money matters. And many people committed suicide because of their fame and they just got scars in their fames because they are slave of the fame and they got attacked on their fame to say they just end up committing suicide. So many people are tied up to small physical matters. To be free from this physical world, we need a true king. Just look, at, look around and you will see this, so many people tangling with all the physical problems and material matters. It's not done by being slaves, but also they are seized by all the background of Satan. Do you think that it's really easy for uh, them to kill themselves because they are possessed by the evil spirits. It's not just a simple slave. They just lost their freedom and they are tied up uh, every man with the Satan. That's why we need a tricky to be from, from free from this hand of the Satan. So God uh, gave us this very important answers in the book of Isaiah. Um, the Brazilian mirror will give up, will give up verse to us and we call him immediately. Isaiah chapter 53, 21, the true king will set us free and all, he will set us free from all the disease and the destinies. We are destined to, uh, to be tied of all these destinies and diseases, but we have no choice but to be seized by all these matters, all these spiritual problems. And this time goes by and the spiritual problem is getting worse. All these mental problems and cancers and all sorts of different diseases that we cannot avoid in this. They are inevitable problems ahead of us. But the true king we need a tricky to solve these problems. 
God sent, God prophesied God sent His only Son to solve all these problems. In the book of Matthew, and Peter proclaimed, Peter confessed his faith that God is the Son, Jesus is the Son of the living God. And all this. He, Jesus asked this question to his disciples when, where there are so many economy and all the politics were uh, all united to the throne of the. Um, the king there, but. But we need to get out of this problems. We need the true king to get set us free. We are affected by all the problems. We need the true king who will save us out of the hands of this world. Adam and Eve committed sins and the Satan started to be a uh, the authority of the air and this authority of Satan is tremendous. And John, John verse 31 said that God is the king of uh, the Satan is the king of this world. And the book first Corinthians and it uh, the God of this world. <laughs> Then, the, who can beat over this Satan with these tremendous authorities? This evil spirit tried to attack uh, individuals and all family and family lines, family members. As the point of this global terrorist, they tried to seize all the part of this world and tried to lead us to this destruction. Uh, when I met a person who was seized by the demon, and this demon spirited a person said, I will destroy this uh, family. If you have this Satan in your field, this evil spirit tried to destroy your family until the end. This tremendous um, authorities of Satan tried to destroy everything that you have. Like, think about the, all the Israeli people uh, coming out of Egypt before the last And even in the Red Sea, the Satan tried to attack the Israeli people. That's why they were in the wilderness with all the problems. They are always complaining. They are going against God because of the background of Satan. They are doing this with this background of Satan. That is the working of these forces of darknesses. It's not the simple matter. This evil spirit tries to go to the end, destroying all the family members and trying to lead this world to the total destruction. Nobody can beat over the Satan's, but only Jesus Christ can do this for us. That's why he had this authority of the king and came over this land. There are so many um, heroic kings in Israel. It's Gaia, King Gaia, and Asa in Judah. Uh, he got rid of all. He got rid of all the wars, and all his. He received the ransom from other countries. He was a very wonderful king at the time. But he beat over those visible kings, but he couldn't beat over this invisible king of this world, that is Satan. It's Gaia also beat over the, the armies of the opposers, and with the grace of the Lord, King Hizkaya also 
with over the world and he could sustain his life for more than additional 50 years. He sent the message that he got healed, that he uh, must have lived up the grace of the Lord, but he just sent this and his weapons. He should have uh, lifted up his name, uh, God's name, but he, uh, he was prosper about being healed by himself. So every time we are deceived by the Satan, so we must be aware of this invisible Satan. So because of this authority, we are in suffering and the problems, all the adversities. Because of this invisible evil spirit, and Solomon, after he died, uh, the nation was divided into two. So we could see this, all this historical fact about this working of the Satan. So we must be over. We, we, we need a king to be over this authority of this world. We can be over this visible soldiers and opposers, but we cannot beat over this invisible Satan. And we can see this. What is the reason for uh, the existence of the first king and second king and se first chronicler and second chronicler? It's all about the kings and the history of Israel. What is the reason that it was written? until now because it shows that we need only a true king that is Jesus Christ nobody can uh, everyone needs a true king and the book of John uh, the reason that Jesus came to this earth is that to bind up the forces of darknesses. And Genesis chapter 3 15, the offspring of a woman will bind up the forces of darknesses. That is a tricky. We need this. The Christ means if it's anointed one, it's a Messiah. And the anointed one means that he is a true king. He came down to this earth as a true king, a true priest, and a true prophet. Referring to this anointed one, to bind up the forces of impeas over darknesses, he came down to this earth as a true uh, priest to bind up to get rid of all the destinies and the problems of the Satan. So we are suffering without any reasons. That's why that's because of our original sins. Who is going to solve this original sins? It's a prophet. It was a true priest to solve this, all the problems. And so we have destined to, destined to go to hell and open the door to meet God as a true prophet. He came down to this earth to save us, to meet God. That is why we call him true king, true priest, and true prophet. And the destroyed prophet, true king, will find up the forces of darkness for us. So many heroic kings in the history of Israel and, but they are actually beaten by all these miserable kings and all these kings, all they were beaten by invisible Satan. But Jesus, only Jesus Christ, beat over this invisible authority. So you must pray that you accept Jesus Christ as true king, as a savior, and accept him in your life. And secondly, as a king, that blessings who received uh, Jesus as true king. Think about the history of Judah and Israel. After Solomon died, they were divided into two, 
and the northern part is Israel, and the southern part is Judah. And in the northern part, there are always、uh, continuing wars and bloodshed wars. There, they keep having these wars all the time with all、uh, different part, different kings. But northern part,、uh, with the bloodline of David, they have the peace. With the king, with the blessings, tremendous blessings of God. They were led to this true peace, and the southern part of Judah, they were they got blessed so much from the Lord. What is different? Do you know the difference between the North America and the South America? North America, they got a freedom of、uh, the face. The,、uh, From England, they just try to find a place to have this freedom in their religions. Think of,、um, look at this history of two different part of、uh, the land America. With with the blessing of God, the northern part of the America, they received a lot of blessings from the Lord. Who is reigning you? Who is reigning this church? The true king must reign this church, and you then you will have true peace. There are so many problems in your family. And all people have this the same face, and but some people are having very difficult time, have difficulty、um, uniting as as family members. But you need to pray and keep praying that you will have a peace from the Lord. There are so many. Things talking about this and that. There are so many minds and the thoughts, a lot going on. But the true king is a master of the church and the honor of this church and your life and your family. Then you will be led to the true peace with His grace and with blessings of peace. From the Lord, they are free from all these destinies and the Satan's, the background of Satan. They are set free from all this authority of this world, and He came down to this earth to bind up this force of darkness. It is for you, and people are trying to follow after this world and trying to follow this background of the air. And they were seized by all these laws of the wall. They are they are destined to、uh, be tied off all these、uh, the box forces of darkness. But he is transcend us from the law of Satan to the law of God. So we are free from all these destinies and the background of Satan. That is the true success. What is the matter in your life? We are transcend out of the hand of Satan.、Um, you accumulate and accomplish something that is not that, but that not success. And you do your best, but still you are. In the midst of the adversity, the problems, but you are out of this, and you are set free from the hands of Satan. That is the true success. So you are free from all these hands of Satan. When you take steps, then you will accomplish the kingdom of God. You enjoy the blessing of the kingdom of God. That is the blessing of the throne. That is a blessing of the peace from the Lord. And with grace and peace of God, from God, and in your field, then you will accomplish. You will spread 
uh, the throne, the blessing of the throne. That is a life of the angels. And with this, the blessing of the throne, and Mark 3, 15, and try to drive out the old demons. And the Luke 16 and 17, in the name of my name, you will drive out the demons, evil spirits. And the Luke 16, 19, and the, I will give the authority to drive out the demons. With the authority, the blessing of the thrones, while living on this earth, and we will have the fundamental blessings to drive all the demons with His grace. The true, with a true king, we accept the true king in your life, and God is reigning you and your family and your staff, then the true peace will be with you and in your family. And when you get out of this, um, the hand of Satan, then you will accomplish this true success. And every step you take, then you will experience and you will enjoy the blessing of the throne and you will be given the authority from the Lord. And you must remember and you must be aware of these facts day by day in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us come to the conclusion. And the Peter, first the Peter, you are a chosen people and a king-like priest. The first Peter 2.9 is all about his three uh, positions. We are not a king, but we are like king-like priest. So we have received these blessings, and with these blessings, we must use these blessings day by day. Otherwise, you will be possessed, you will be seized by the evil spirit of this world. You cannot get out of this, you will be slave of this world. And how can we save all the people suffering in this world? As a, a king like priest, and when we use the authority from the Lord, and we will save all these slaves of this world to save the two, three, seven nations, we were given the authority from the Lord. Then he gave us this authority of being a king. So, with this precious authority, we need to start. Let's do this, the missions for the 70, 70 disciples and 70 fields. And every field, then you must raise up the 70 disciples. That is a starting point of the people who possess this king like authorities. God called us to do this. You must make sure that your mission is given by the Lord, that is absolute friend of God, and it's never changed. To save two, three, seven nations with the throne of blessing of the throne of God, you must focus on Jesus Christ. With this authority, God is Christ is the standard and the background. And you must look up to the Lord. And the standard, the Christ is standard. And that means that you must follow after Jesus Christ and the previous messages and the gospel. And we freely can use this authority of the throne. So you must not get lose hold of this message. That verse 19, 19 says that he shall be with him and he shall lead it in it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord, that his God may keep him all his words of his law and his statutes and doing them. God will let you freely use the throne of the kingdom. 
and you will accomplish his words. You will save all the people who are the slaves of the world and the and under the control of the Satan, then you will be a king like priest who will save them and save your family and your save, save your family lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, Father, I thank that you came down this earth as a true king and you solved all the problems of the Satan and you save us from all the destinies and the background of Satan, you let us use the throne of the kingdom and you save us his family nation. And we are thankful that you gave us this throne and this authority and we be people and we will use the authority and the blessings whenever we meet, we meet people and spread by spreading the gospel. I pray in Jesus' holy wonderful name. Amen. 안보 영상 보도록 하겠습니다.